right, what we're going to do is going to look at polymers and plastics specifically. Um, curriculum links for polymers are the AQA, um, I think it's under oils, earth and atmosphere. Red Excel um, module 5 on synthesis, um, OCR gateway and for 21st century it's material choices, food matters and unit C1 carbon chemistry making polymers. Um, what we've got is some latex, some weak acid, which is in this case citric acid, good um, under health and safety. Also got containers with water in. What I'm going to do is find um, basically to make an elastic band. Now you can use any form of um, uh, cylindrical surface. Um, dip it into the latex and just make sure you've got sufficient on there. It's going to make a rubber band which the children can then test the elasticity on. Um, you can then neutral The latex is then put into a weak acid, in this case citric acid, 0.1 molar, to enable the cross-linking to occur, then placed in water and allowed to dry. So we'll leave that one there for a minute. What I'm going to try also is a rather larger spherical shape, which we can see where we can make a large elastic band from. Again, you'll need to make sure that you've got sufficient material. There we go. Here I'm going to use the citric acid in another container, and then I'll put it back into the water. Okay, now we're going to use a piece of thermosetting thermohardening plastic. Here we're going to use a piece of plastic material which is, as you see, in the shape of a curve. You use a hairdryer to heat the material, using a pair of tongs obviously to hold it. Um, this may take a little while, so I'll put some music on while it gets heated. Where do we go? Nobody knows. I've got to say, I'm on my way down. God give me style and give me grace. God put a smile retain the shape of your in my house. Okay, so you can buy in shops these days, um, or turkey on the internet. Um, obviously you need to make sure that the water that um, is generally at 65 degrees centigrade. So my suggestion would be that you give them a thermometer. You then take these pieces of plastic and put one or two in. You should method obviously with the latex is to make a ball which you can then check again it's elasticity, pour it into the acid solution making sure that all of the material is inside and around it will obviously form the rubber which you can see here Keep turning it around. Oops. Practical science in this application. Okay, so we've got a nice shape there. We'll see the ammonia on the rubber solution is something to bear in mind if you've got fume cupboards, etc. If you want to, but this can be done in the classroom. Right, there we 
again. So this will now show this rubber to effectively make sure the shape is correct, <coughs> shape which we were just looking at earlier, which again you can now see is becoming a whiter colour. And just doing the uh, bounces there for the natural rubber. The uh, bands can be pulled off gently over the edge of the material. They turn brown obviously after a while. As you can see that one's not very strong, but you can see the elasticity in the material. Um, so the children can obviously change the ball of the cylinder. With the larger one we have a very thin round, but obviously that can be used to test the elasticity and work out the, the that's the process.